All right, thanks, Alyssa. Today we are talking about an outdoor drama you can check out. It's called James Harrod, The Battle for Kentucky. Here to tell us all about it is David Coleman, the old Fort Harrod State Park manager. Thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate this. Thank you for having us. Yes, this is uh, season seven for James Harrod, The Battle for Kentucky. Season seven? Yes, ma'am. Wow. And it is a very historical drama written about the founding of Harrodsburg, yes. which was the first city in Kentucky, by the way, the first, first uh, settlement. So this is very, very historically accurate, and it's also very entertaining with live fire and gun shooting and, uh, and the strife that goes on between not only the settlers and the Native Americans, but also yeah. the settlers and each other and the Transylvania Company and their claim to ownership of Kentucky. So it's, it has all, all kinds of different aspects within the play. So this is a real life look at the early frontier life. It's very accurate, you say? That's correct. Okay, which That's can correct. be tough to do because a lot of times when we're talking about some of these plays and productions, we uh, like to jazz it up or maybe change things around a little bit. So that is not the case here. It's going to be exciting still, no yes, doubt. Yes, it is. But accurate. That's good to know. That's correct. Now, um, how did the production actually come to be? How did you guys decide that this is something that you wanted to do? Well, the theater itself had a long standing play for like 40 or 50 yeah. years called um, Daniel Boone, the, the man and the yes. legend, or da right. the legend of Daniel Boone, uh, and it had gone. The studio had gone dark. Uh, when I became park manager, I was like, we 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 really need to tell the story of Harrodsburg within yeah. this theater. The, the space is absolutely phenomenal for doing outdoor theater production. Um, so we started immediately working on writing our own play, so we would have that control of the, or ownership of the story itself. So. Sure. Uh, we could tell the story that we wanted to tell. That's a great idea. Would you say this is appropriate for people of all ages? Oh, yes. Okay, so the entire family can come on out to this. That's correct. Good deal. As far as the length of the production, what are we talking about? What it do folks a, expect? We're, it's under two hours. Okay. It, it had gotten pretty long, and, and we had kind of backed off and, and cut some scenes and some lines to, to shorten it up a little bit. So it starts at 8 o'clock, and you should be out of the theater by 10. Okay, so it is an evening production. It is an evening production, yes. Good. Okay, so it's hot enough. We know we're sometimes thinking about the heat and everything, but that's yeah. why this is going to be an, a late night show. If folks want some tickets or they want to come out to this, how can they get They that? can call the State Park, uh, Old Fort Harris State Park at 859-734-3314, mm -hmm. or they can buy tickets. Okay. To get, it's a 560 seat theater, so Ooh, the chance of us right. selling out is, is not is not great, so you can pick up a ticket at the gate. Good deal. Information on the screen there for you if you are interested in making it out there. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking Thank the time. Thank you very to come much in. for having us. Looking forward to this. Well, up next, Hurricane Barry may be downgraded, but why you can still expect to shell out more at the pump. Plus, Amazon Prime Day deals underway right now. 48 hours of online shopping bliss, and which retailers are upping their game to compete? But first, we've got a sneak peek at the James Harrod production for you. Crystal Ogunbashi is here. Take it away, Crystal. When my daddy and my first husband announced that we were pulling up stakes in Pennsylvania and headed out to Kentucky, I had high hopes just like everybody else. Oh, I knew it was going to be hard. I knew there was a lot going to have to be given up. But I never dreamed. I'd have to give up everything I had. We'd been here less than a year before they were both dead, murdered, and scalped. I didn't know what I was going to do. Out in the middle of nowhere, no 